It's for you, man, if you're just getting into it. I don't want to spoil everything for you. What's the best way to start out with standard edition, in your opinion? Oh, I don't know, dude. Just play it. Going with, like, a pistol and a backpack. Try to fill up, like, an MBS MBSS bag with, like, a 9mm pistol. Or you could buy a Vepr or an SKS from level 1 vendors. That'll probably give you the best chance to kill anybody. Here we go. Another hatchet fucker. He's, he's on the- he's fucking rabbit. He's already swinging his axe. He's going for the loot. God damn it. There's somebody reload over here. He's going for the weapon crates. He's like, ooh, yeah. He made it. Hold it. Cease fire. Over here. Need help. What are you doing out here? Okay, guys. We need to all work together. Knives only! Freeze! Need assistance! Can I trust you? Okay guys, we need to all work together. I'm leading! Let's go! Maybe it contains something useful. Look! I need backup! You got some juice for me. That's more like it! Need to search this. Get over here. Get yourself a macro or something. Cover up with something. Shit, what's your problem, man? Everybody, on me. Oh, he didn't finish looting because he got spooked. <laughs> Bad guys, front. Need help. Movement ahead. Two player scouts. Enemy down. Where is he? Cover me! Follow me! Movement ahead. You set down. Pretty sure we're about to get flanked by a player scab. Where is he? Check him. Go, go, I'm covering. There's another one nearby, buddy. Threat on 12. Get your gun ready. We're good to fire! Weapons ready! 
Nice work, fella. Everybody, on me! Did you hear that? What's up over there? Oh, never mind. Hey, thanks, Mr. Sicko. Yeah, well, sometimes when you see a hatchet guy, like, you shouldn't promote hatchet play. You shouldn't encourage people to just go in with no gear. But I get bored of just, like, shooting defenseless people. You know, it's fun to have a challenge of, like, trying to work together without VoIP. I, I enjoy it. It's fun. <clears throat> I was thinking about the other day, and uh, we might do something like... I don't want to do, like, a sub-plays for Tarkov, but we might do something where we pull in someone from the stream. Someone that, like, sets up the voice comms, and we'll do, like, random... Random team-ups, just using the voice comms in-game. For people that think they can use them and respond and shit. So... Yeah, maybe I'll try to get a couple of buddies that, that have them bound, and we can get some, like, Tarkov uh, in-game team play going on with the uh, the comms. But I think it's still going to be better when it's, like, a random meetup like this. It's just most of these guys don't have them bound. Not yet, at least. It's a fairly new feature. I don't know how long it's been out now. Yeah, that other player scab took off. His buddy died, he probably heard that I had an RSAS, and he was just like, yep, not gonna win that fight, let's go. That or he's lurking around and we just missed him. Alright, whatever, just player scab. have. He's probably got like a Taws. Marvelous! I'm leaving, let's go. Because of the stream, you attempt to team with hatchlings, it never goes well. Yeah, you have to establish trust somehow. Sometimes you have to give them, like... A backpack or some meds just to get them to like not fuck you over, I think. Stop hiding. Where are you? He's gone. Where are you? What the not He's sure. Vanished. I'm leading. Let's go. So let's take a risk here and get this guy to loot the weapon crate. Everybody, on me! Hey Dengler, yes, finally woods. Yeah, we only did woods like once or twice yesterday. I don't even know why. I think we were just focused on shoreline. Like, Shoreline was our big map yesterday instead of Woods because of the quests. What do you guys like? Like, what's your favorite map? Or, let's go between Woods and Shoreline for, like, a big map. I guess it's a stupid question because we should probably just do a rotation of all the maps because they're all good. But I guess Shoreline might be the favorite because it has the most players now and it's the biggest. Maybe it contains something useful. Eventually Shoreline's going to be up to 30 players, right? It's going to be like the same size, but up to 30 players. Or at least that's what I heard. The main problem with customs and woods right now is the spawn zones. If you spawn on the opposite side of woods, or the boiler okay, side of customs... Nothing. Silence. Then it's just a clusterfuck spawn fight, sometimes. But if you pick the opposite spawns, it's bearable. I th I'd say Shoreline has the least amount of spawn fights, wouldn't you say? Because it's the biggest.
as a non-player and only a viewer, you hate Factory? Yeah, I feel like everybody hates Factory as a viewer because, like, I guess it can get a little repetitive. Like, you kind of know what to expect. But it, it is a lot of fun to play, I'll tell you that. Once you, like, have an understanding, it's really fun. Oh, I might have seen a guy on that rock. I can't tell. Bad guy's front. Over here! Easy, guys. Stay sharp. Dig in. Hold position. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Easy, guys. Yeah, the laser kind of gets in the way at the bottom. Movement ahead. Ooh, that guy's laying down looting something, I think. That must be a player scav. Yes. Everybody on me. Yo, what's up, Panzer? Been looking for a bit. Favorite map is between woods and factory. Yeah, factory is like the guaranteed action. Like, if you go into a big map and you just don't get a whole lot of, like, player encounters, then you just go to a couple of factories to make up for it, I feel. But the biggest problem with factory for some people is you spawn in, turn the corner, and boom, you're already in a fight. You know, where it's kind of nice in Tarkov if you get a little bit of time to move into the map and think about what you're going to do. But once you have a good understanding of the map, then yeah, it's a lot of fun. Threat on 12. Tourist finished. One down. Search him. Okay. There was a USEC on the rock. I thought I saw somebody, but I wasn't sure. You talking about the left rock or the right rock? Actually, don't tell me. It's too late. Marvelous! Follow me! What? Just die already! Nice move. Oh, you know what it is, dude? This fucking rock? We tested it one day. This rock is actually, like, all the way out to here. Put his face mask on or something, you're bleeding. You have blood all over your skull. Yeah, dude, can you imagine if that happened to somebody and the scav killed them in that situation? And they were like fully geared, you know, they took out their only like set of armor and their only good gun. They'd be fucking pissed. Oh, I think that was a suppressed gun. Quiet, what the hell? Did you hear that? Need assistance. I need backup. Need help. Stop. Hold it. 
Everybody on me! Cover me! <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Shit, what's your problem, man? Carry on, guys! Move! <laughs> He's like, what's going on up here? What are you looking at? Damn, it... I'm tired of this walking. Does he have the same extract as you? I don't know. Mar Silence! Whoa! Hold your fire! Are you nuts? What the hell? <laughs> this is the worst spot to do this. I think I missed something you said, Panzer. Um, that's what you like, mi mixture of combat? Yeah. Factory's just adrenaline. Love what you're doing with the hatch runner? Yeah, well, I'd like to find the guys that are actually need the help, you know? Like, if it's somebody that's super experienced, it's not as fun, I don't think. Because you can tell they just, they're just they just trying to farm, like, free money. But if it's, like, a new player and you see them, like, kind of going slow and examining a bunch of shit, those are the guys that I'm trying to help out. So I think it's the most fun that way. But you never know who you're going to get. I'm leading. Let's go. Movement ahead. Yo, Toma. Oh no, hydration's good. You better worry about bears. Here's some loot. Attention! Go, go, I'm covering! Cease fire. Nice move. Right on twelve. I don't think I put a bolt in the back of my brain, but maybe. In cover, fast.
Movement ahead. Affirmative. Clear to fire. Come out. Where is he? Minus one. Good one. Affirmative. I'm leaving. Let's go. Found something. Let's do it! Oh, I don't want to go through your stuff, dude. My bad. Yo, Moto, thanks for the sub, man. A place to search. Uh, yo, Ash, you gonna do the standard account today? Probably not tonight, Ash. Uh, maybe Sunday. It does sound like a lot of fun, though. I think we're gonna try to finish all the quests from uh, Peacekeeper. Once we're done with that, um, then we'll probably do the standard account. Need to search this. Everybody, on me! Bad guys, fuck! Enemy killed. Shit, we only have 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't know if he has the same extract as me, man. Search him. He'll probably figure it out, though. Like, he can see the time. If he knows, like, where his extract is, he'll probably leave a few minutes early. If it's not over here. Yo, Blastverse, thanks for the sub- or the resub, dude. Thanks for the four months, Blast. And all the support you've done in the past, man. It's crazy. Over here! Sunday? Oh yeah, sorry. I meant like Sunday, like tonight, like late tonight maybe. My bad. I lose track of time. <laughs> Check him. How quickly you saw him? He has the same extract. Oh, that's true. That's true. For a second I thought he was running towards that side of the map to extract with like an item he had just found though. Like he just non-stop sprinted. Like maybe he checked the USB spawn and then just rushed across the beach. I think that's actually an option if you think about it, dude. Because <clears throat> you could spawn right there and then just sprint across the beach. But yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it was too soon. I can't remember how many minutes we were in when we found him. Carry on, guys. Keep up. Nice shadow. You talking about this game? Yeah, definitely pick up the standard edition and see if you like it. You can always upgrade for the same price in the end. But you will have to reset your inventory if you decide to upgrade or like change versions.
Check this. Cover me! All right, let's be the moment of truth. You can pop me in the head right now and take my shit. You gonna do it? Nice work, fella. Go! Why are you playing the game so dark? Playing the game so dark, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I already finished the Tashanka quest. Um, I must have missed it. I'll pick him up in some defense if I find any more. Damn, he's gone. What the? He's vanished. Damn it, I was trying to say, where is he? Covering! Go! Go! I'm covering! There he is. <gasps> this one's finished. Die, scav! Search him. The player scav. Good eyes, dude. You mean the stream is really dark? Really? What do you guys think about it? Is it too dark? You're the first one that said that. Yeah, I love using the flashlight in dark areas, but it's nice and bright out here, man. Some areas are really dark in this game, though. It's nice to bring in a flashlight and a laser if you can. Um, you can't have a flashlight attachment on this RSS, though, I don't think. Alright, last great, and then we gotta get out of here. Get the hell out! Uh, no, it's not too dark. It looks awesome. I have to play the game so bright because it feels... I feel it gives an advantage that everyone uses brighter gamma, so it's nice to see it played darker. You play the game bright because it feels it gives an advantage that... Oh, you think everybody else is using brighter gamma to spot players, so you do it too, you're saying? No, I mean, I just leave it normal. I have the digital vibrance cranked up by like 25 or 50%. Um, I, mean, I guess during nighttime raids, some people might skip out on buying night vision and crank up their gamma. I think that's shitty, but you, I guess you really just can't avoid it with most of these games. Are you running max graphics? Uh, pretty close to it, yeah, I think we're on ultra. Yo, Sim, thanks for the tip, dude. Keep up the great streams. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy it, dude. So, what do we got here? Nah, the light's not here. We gotta go. I'm leaving. Let's go. We could go in there and check the weapon crate, but let's just go. So if that exit was available for him, we would still see the green smoke, right? Yeah, okay, so it would be available for, for all of us. Anybody in the raid that spawned on that side of the map, but there's no green smoke, so I keep forgetting about his stamina. <laughs> Hold it. Go ahead and catch your stamina, dude. Movement ahead. One dead. Go ahead. You can't play nighttime raising crank gamma up, you just naturally play at a brighter gamma during the day. Oh, okay, I see. So 
So yeah, they changed this area. They added some rocks. So you have a little bit more cover when you're hugging the right side. Eyes open. Alright, we gotta give this guy a reward for not betraying me. What's it gonna be? I got an idea. How's the RSS? Uh, arguably the best gun in the game. We've got the shorter barrel on right now, so it's more like an assault rifle style. It's really good. And I think it has the best ammo in the game as far as like armor piercing is concerned. You can get the, uh, the M... what are they? M6-1s. Freeze! Need help? Found something. That's more like it! Fall back! Fall back. Get the hell out. Damn, I don't remember it being this far away. What the hell? I guess I haven't been over here much since I changed it. more like it. See you later, boss. Nice work, fella. You too. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying earlier, it's always best when we team up with somebody and then we find some PMCs. Unfortunately, we only saw, what, one or two player scavs? We killed the one player scav in the beginning and then one at the end. So yeah, one of these raids, you know, we'll team up with somebody and then we'll see some more players. That's what we're going for, at least.